What a win, what a club, what a team. Yes, hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel, where today I bring you the reaction from the game that divided Leicester, and that is Hull City beating Leicester City 1-0 at the King Power Stadium, bringing Leicester City their first thing other than a win this season. They won their opening four fixtures of this championship campaign, putting them at the top of the table. We managed to beat them today, handing them the first loss of the season, and they suffer a plummet to third in the table as we regain our spot at sixth in the championship. A strike from Liam Delap in the 15th minute means Hull City grab the win at the King Power Stadium. Our first win in a long time against Leicester at uh, the King Power Stadium in Leicester. Obviously, the all famous win at home with the double bicycle kick was the last time we beat Leicester until today with Liam Delap grabbing his second of the season. Fantastic performances all round, though. A good performance from Liam Delap as well as the goal meant that he uh, he came off happy and felt well to do. Got a good hug off Liam Rosinia on that front. As well as that, a good performance from the defence. A strong defence performance. Our first clean sheet of the season. Uh, special mentions in the defence go to Alfie Jones, who put a commanding job in at centre-back. And then also Ruben Vinagri, who grabs his second start for Hull City in the championship and his first start since Norwich his first appearance since Norwich I believe um, and it's a, it was a very strong 65 minutes he gave Hull City on the left hand side in contributing a few times attacking, attacking ways as well so a very very good performance from both of them Matt Ingram had a good game in goal all things considering he kept a clean sheet he managed to pull out a few saves a few diving punches on corners and stuff um, and second half wise he did seemed to have a bit more of a gauge on what he was doing. So Matt Ingram had a good game. In the centre um, of the park is where we saw a lot of good games. Regan Slater, he was everywhere on the pitch, wasn't he? He was. It was he pulled out a George Honeyman and ran, 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 ran all over the pitch. Had a cracking game to go with it. Alongside his uh, sort of CDM partner, um, Jean-Michael Serry, who I gave the man of the match to in my live stream. If you didn't check that out, the VOD is on the channel um, if you want to watch it, but um, I don't blame you if you don't. But Jean-Michael Serry picks up my man of the match for this game for his fantastic performance in that holding midfield um, department. He plays some fantastic passes. He actually picks out the pass that went to Liam Delap over the top, which grabbed Hull City the win. Um... So he got he got the only assist of the game as well. So a fantastic performance from Seri, who picks up my man of the match. Probably the best performance we've seen from Scott Twine in the Hull City, uh, Hull City shirt as well, as he made his th third appearance for the Tigers. Played all 90 minutes as well. Um, not too much to go from from free kick angle. He had maybe, I think, one or two free kicks, none of them from shooting sort of range, um, sort of floats into the box. And there wasn't a million miles of, away. Jason Lakilo returned back off the bench today, which was nice to see, along with Ali Arsai Manesh. None of them contributed too much as it was a bit too later on in the game. We were sort of focusing more on a defensive mindset rather than that of attacking to pick up the 1-0 win. So it was a big game. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this of this impactful win for Hull City as we turn into the international break for I think it's a, a, t a week or two um, as we turn into that with the win against Leicester our next outing is against Coventry at home on the uh, 15th of September, I believe, or it's the, sometime around then, as we play Coventry, who managed to pick up a 3-3 draw today. So it should be a good game, that, back at home. So I'll see you, um, I'll have plenty more videos coming out over the international window. All things to do with Hull City, so make sure you like and subscribe, so don't miss any of that. And I'll have plenty more live streams and news about this coming out. So join us here on the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel.